we were really focused on making the dream catchers and didn't realize that by the time we were almost done it's quite late at night we little we really lost track of time but I think the dream catchers are starting to take shapes and are looking really good while stretching a bit I intentionally unintentionally let out a big yawn and my eyes suddenly feel quite heavy Looking back on this sofa for a bit won't hurt, right? A clock in the room reads 2 a.m. Oh, I suppose that will be the reason why I feel this way. But we're almost done. I'm gonna stop now. But I don't think Razor will mind if I rest my ass for a little bit. Just... Just for a little bit. Ah. They've fallen asleep. I suppose it is late and they did help me a lot today. They must be tired. So tired that they can't sleep on the sofa like that. I know that can't be comfortable. Lies, I like sleeping on the sofa. Maybe I should give them my pillows with it. <laughs> Four. Four. Guilty, I said. Guilty. Ah, there we go. Now they can rest more comfortably. Wait, one more thing. There. That should help a little. My jacket should keep them a little warm while they sleep. Guilty! Guilty! Five, guys! It's five. Oh. <clears throat> five. It's five. <laughs> uh, I see what the guys have been imagining. Well, you're making this game. Good night. Sweet dreams. <laughs> yeah, it's six now. There's still one more thing I want to do now that they're asleep. Honestly, I didn't think I would have the opportunity. I thought we would stay awake all night. But I guess I got a little lucky this time. Thankfully earlier at the store they bought extra hoops and threads for the dream catchers. Because I'm go going to make one Called it! Called it! Called it everyone! Oh lord! As much as you guys know me, I know you guys man. Called it! Reza Van Luna! <clears throat> Made one for you guys. Plus one on the Halo counter, everyone. Rizzo did a great job making them look so beautiful. After making sure the dream catchers are where they were placed earlier, I decided to go to the bathroom to freshen up a bit. After finishing from the bathroom, I quietly returned to Reza's room. Only to find him already awake from his sleep. So, where have you been while I was asleep? I took a shower. But you're still wearing yesterday's clothes. That won't do. Wait here for a minute, okay? Wait, wait. Here, I'll lend you my clothes for the time being. I hope the size fits you. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. Of course, grenades. Uh, no, no, it's okay. I'm fine with my own clothes. Oh, come on, it's totally fine. Do it for me. Please. He looks at me with those pleading puppy eyes. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's three point for you guys. <laughs> okay, good lord. Um, I don't have a choice, do I? Fine, I'll wear it. I accept the the offer for his clothes, avoiding eye contact as I take a, the clean clothes from his hands. He leaves the room, and then I change into the clothes he gave me earlier. His clothes smell softly of lavender. It suits him. Surprisingly, his clothes fit me just fine. I suppose it's okay to borrow his clothes then. 
after everything was ready, we would goodbye to Reza's family and headed out to the mall on his motorcycle. <laughs>